Hi Church family, my name is Lori Moreland and I'm on staff at Heights Church and I'm also a volunteer leader for the Junior High Ministry. Today in our devos, I want to talk about how the Holy Spirit quickens us. Now that's a term that you will find in the, new, in the King James Version and it's an old fashioned word, but what it means is that God lives in me. In Romans 8.11, it talks about how when Jesus died on the cross, his Holy Spirit came to live within us. And when it quickens us, it's a prompting, it's a stirring inside of our spirit, and it, it causes us to do things that we want to do because of the love that Jesus has for us and because of the love that we have for Jesus. I think about times when I have been struggling with something and then I feel that stirring inside of my heart that says, this is the way to go. It directs me, it points to, to things to help lead me and guide me. It also stirs me to action. Sometimes uh, the Holy Spirit will point me to places where it wants me to serve. It might take gifts that I already have and use them to serve God or show me something fresh and new that I would have never dreamed that I could possibly do. And leading in junior high ministry is one of those things. And I remember clearly when I was on a ride from Eureka back to Sacramento and I was looking at how beautiful God's creation was. I was looking at the, the fog as it was laying over all of the fields and we were driving those twisty turny roads and I was in a prayerful spirit and I just felt this prompting in my spirit to work in student ministry. Now, the thing is that I had such a difficult um, years as a, a young person that I stayed away from that age group, but I really felt drawn to it because of that quickening that I had in my spirit, that word that lo the Lord was giving it to me. So I came, went to one of the pastors and I said, this is what I, what I want to do. And he instructed me to pray about it. So when you feel the Holy Spirit quickening, speaking to you, stirring inside of you, and you're questioning, if, is that the direction I should go in? Look into scriptures, see if it's part of God's word, and then go to a trusted person that is godly and ask them, do you advise this? Is this something that you see in me? And if you get confirmation in those areas, move forward, because that is the Holy Spirit quickening inside of you, stirring inside of you, speaking inside of you. So I pray that as you go through this day, you will listen to that spirit within you, that you will feel the Holy Spirit moving inside of your heart and inside of your soul, and you will follow it and listen to it. Have a blessed and beautiful day, and we look forward to meeting again tomorrow.